What's going on everybody? It's the duck and today I'm gonna show you a video in this video Just wanted to go over the game manual for MLB the show 18 I'm interested to see what the controls are if the controls have changed that much this year. So we're going to go ahead and do that here. So we're at this beginning here, the show 18 game manual. Let's go ahead and click on that. So you got the controller here. So hidden interface directional controls. So X is still the normal swing. Circle is the contact swing. Power swing is square. Sacrifice bunt is still triangle. Drag bunt is the uh, triangle late. Left stick up or down, influence right side, left stick right or left, and it can influence bunt to third or first. Okay, so batting miscellaneous. So if you're using the guest pitch, you press the R2 and whatever you think the pitch is gonna be. Quick menu pitch attributes so is still the left, and the right for pitching and bra batting breakdown. To call a timeout, you press down before the windup. And to activate batter's eye cam, you press R3. To control the camera, you press right stick. So pitching controls, pulse interface. So this is, this is the pulse interface. I don't use pulse interface. I don't recommend it unless you already use it. This is how, how you do it. So L1 and X for pitch out, intentional walk, L1 and circle, and the different types of pitch types, depending on your pitcher, okay? so. L2 is still the same for everything. You press it to press L2 to look at the runner, and uh, you request a catcher's pitch call. Press R2, and the pitch ball X. Quick uh, pickoff. You press L2 and you whatever base uh, to do the quick pickoff or you do a deceptive move. You just hold L2 and you press that. So that that right there, I never used that before. So. You press L2 and you hold whatever base you think uh, they're going to try to run from just to kind of keep them from running. Slide step, you press L2 plus X. Pick off the first, L2 and circle. L2 for second base is triangle. L2 and square for the third base. Okay, to step off the mound, you just press L1. And uh, to position the ball in the zone is you move the left stick. So it's like, let's take a look at the other one, next one. So throwing controls, button and button inter button accuracy interfaces. So you move your player around. It's the same thing. Jump and dive is still the right stick. Throw to cut off is L1. Switch to the closest player is still L2. To jump is R1. And to dive is R2. So that's still the same. And throw to first, second, and third is still circle, triangle, and square. And X is to throw to home. To target a runner, you press left stick, and then you whatever base that runner is on, and that's for base running here. So this is a this is a really hard uh, for base running. It's still the same. You you press left stick and whichever runner you want to control, you can advance them by pressing the left stick and, and pointing at that runner. Uh, so you play a square, circle, triangle, or X, whatever one. To lead off the individual runner, you press L1. And if you want to lead off all of them, you press L1 without the stick. And if you want to still individual run, you press the left stick in the direction of that runner and L2. And you're still all runners, you press L2. To still early, you press and hold L2. So it's similar to last year, you pulled out, you know, you tap on L2 to get them to uh, start getting ready to steal. Uh, to return that individual runner, you press that left stick in that direction of that player and hold on and tap R1. To return all your runners is R1 and to stop the runner is the same as last year, you press R2. So for sliding, okay, so these are the different types of animations for sliding. So going straight in, this is for the home because home has its own types of uh, of slides okay to slide home you press down on the right stick to sl slide straight in head first you press up on the right stick to slide at home with the wide right your feet first uh, you go right stick down to the right and wide right head first you press right stick and up 
to the uh, upper right area. To slide at different bases, so stride in to slide in street to slide in at bases straight in feet first you just press down on the right stick to do the uh, straight in head first you press up on the right stick to hook to the left you press left on the right stick and to hook to the right you press right on the right stick okay so this is very beneficial when you're trying to avoid tags so and I believe this is gonna make more of a difference this year so to break up a double play at second, you press down on the right stick and that'll try to knock down the the uh, second baseman. All right, for retro mode, if you play that retro mode, this is how you do it. You're gonna press uh, the move button, the move batter, and swing and bunt. So that that's pretty simple. Uh, increase your lead off, decrease your lead off with circle, uh, switch runner windows, L1, R1. And to steal is triangle, advance all runners is X, return a previous base is circle, target individual runners is left stick, advance individual is X, return individual circle. Pitching, you remove your pitcher left and right. Uh, you throw your fastball, you press down and X. Uh, to throw the change, you press up and X. To do the pickoff, you hold the circle. Remember, this is for the uh, retro mode. To move pitch in flight, left stick, uh, left and right. Fielding. Throw, dive, or jump is X. To switch a fielder or circle, aim or throw to first, you just press uh, right on the left stick or uh, the, the direction control, direction to the right. Aim or throw to second is up on the left stick or or up on the, uh, the controller pad. If you want to throw to third, it's left on the left stick or left on the controller pad. If you want to throw home, you press down or down on the uh, controller pad. All right, so new in 2008, Road to the Show modifications. Uh, we made Road to the Show more realistic and engaging than ever. Now you can improve the stats of each player uh, through training sessions, mentoring, and good performance on for also adding new environments to show. Some improved visuals. Enhanced realism. Players, teammates, and audiences will react to the game realistically, celebrating your victories or encourage you, encouraging you if the going gets tough. We've also added hundreds of cameras to give you a more dynamic perspective on the game. Replays can now be controlled, directly adjusted to play in slow motion or real time. In addition, we've upgraded our commentary system to provide more moment-to-moment -moment conversations and reactions. Mark DeRosa, 16-year-old a 16-year-old, a 16-year MLB veteran and MLB Network studio analyst will be joining the returning Matt Vazgershian and Dan Plezak in the booth. So franchise mode is going to be streamlined. You, the franchise mode you know and love is back now. Streamlined. We've broken the franchise year down into unique phases to help you contextualize your important managerial decisions throughout the year. That way you can focus on upcoming challenges for your team. The weather alongside... Our other presentation updates, we've added weather to the mix this year. Fog, rain, and sunshine won't just change the look of the game, but can affect game schedules and pitching controls by popular demand. We've added rain delays. That's interesting. And that you'll need to strategize around. Keep your pitchers in the game and warm up some relievers. Keep watching the skies. Some of the best players in history will make an appearance in the show, including Babe Ruth, Frank Thomas, Bob Gibson, Mike Piazza, and... Vladimir Guerrero, to name a few. Collect and play with these legends in Diamond Dynasty and other modes. Keep an eye out for even more legends that will be revealed throughout the year. Additional changes. Batting Stance Creator is now a feature that lets you create a totally unique batting stance for your players or model one after your favorites from MLB. Custom practice and mini modes will jump you into a game where you can practice different positions, stadiums, weather, and etc. So Diamond Dynasty is the ultimate fantasy baseball experience. my favorite mode where you can play with hundreds of legends and flashback players spanning 80 years of baseball history. Collect their baseballs and build a 25-man squad to compete against opponents online or choose single player to take on controller, uh, computer control teams. And you know how to play. You start Diamond, Diamond Dynasty by picking several players through the draft system while the rest of your initial team will be chosen automatically. Your squad is then going to need a team name, logo, and uniforms. Simply use the show's uniform creator to give your team a fresh look that shows off your personality and style. 
Now you're ready to take on Diamond Dynasty. By the way, guys, I won't be able to stream this the day it comes out. So my daughter and my son are going to be streaming when this drops on Thursday night at 9 uh, Pacific time. And they're going to be uh, putting together my team uniform and getting that set up. So uh, that's going to be cool. Having trouble choosing a logo? Check out the Logo Vault and choose from hundreds of logos created and shared by other users. You can also upload any, upload any logos you created and see if it becomes a fan favorite. As you play, you'll earn rewards, stubs, tickets, and XP. Stubs are the in-game cur currency that can you can spend on packs or in the com community marketplace. Tickets can be redeemed at the ticket counter for exclusive items only available for a limited time. XP is important for unlocking ticket counter and universal profile rewards. Other possible rewards include player items, st stadiums, equipment, and baseball ritual items. Guys, remember, the ticket counter, they're going to be giving out cards throughout the year in the ticket counter. Don't get those confused with stubs. The ticket counter, as it comes along, I would save my tickets uh, last year I spent a lot early on and I regretted it because the really good ones come out later in the season the 99 cards the really great cards will be coming out later in the season so save your ticket stuff tickets not just I'm not talking about stuff I'm talking about tickets so make sure you, you save those tickets guys this year be on the lookout for new souvenir souvenirs like bobbleheads apparel and signed baseball paraphernalia so ways to play rank seasons offer rewards as you win games against other opponents online and climb the season's leaderboard. Your performance performance each season will determine your rank on the leaderboard to crown the best player. The leaderboard will reset every few weeks to provide fresh incentive to stay at the top. So remember, rank seasons is the same as last year. They usually last about a month long, and then you just try to place as high as you can on that leaderboard uh, by your rating, whatever the number is. It doesn't say what the number is going to be at like. Um, but when you place, you will be getting rewards such as packs, uh, certain players, uh, uh, reward players. The higher you reach, of course, World Series is usually the highest. It was the last, la highest the last few years, so make sure you try to get to World Series. Uh, being a World Series player is uh, very hard to get. Events are dynamic, time-limited experiences that challenge you to build a team based on a set of themed restrictions such as West player uh, exclusive teams to compete against other players in the quest for rewards. So uh, last year, events kind of rolled out slow. So it'll be interesting to see. Hopefully they have more events planned out uh, that have come out more frequent this year. I'm, that's what I'm hoping. Battle Royale is a lot of people's favorite. This is a tough one because... Uh, it's a player versus player experience where you must draft the team and outlast opponents in a double elimination tournament. Tournament. So last year it was 12 wins. You get your, uh, you get a really great reward, and along the way you get, you know, for every three wins you get a certain reward. Like the first three wins last year, you would get a com uh, like a common, and then like a, a bronze for the next three, and then a silver for the next three, and then you get a gold or a diamond. You keep going up. Uh, so if you get to 12 wins, which, which, which is very, very hard to do, um, y it'll uh, give you a really, really great card, and which you can turn and sell, throw it on the marketplace and get a lot of stubs and build your team around that. Uh, one thing, too, for Battle Royale is it costs stubs to get in. So last year, a pa the packs were about 1,000 stubs, and, this, uh, and then to get into Battle Royale, it would cost 1,500 stubs. All right, so that, you know, if you go in there and you lose three games out, you pretty much be play, paying, you know, 1,500 stubs for a uh, pack that could cost you 1,000. So it's, it's, it's a risky deal. It's kind of, a, it's kind of, like, it's kind of like gambling. Uh, but the risk-reward is, is there if you can win at least six games. It's worth it. If not, if you don't think you can do six games in a row, it's probably best – to practice, uh, get in the practice mode, and, and get better at the game. I like to say, hashtag get good. Uh, when I first started playing Battle Royale last year, it was really, really tough uh, for me to win more than five games. So I kind of avoided Battle Royale for a while there because it just seemed like I was losing out on stuff. But now I feel a little more comfortable. As you get better, uh, you, the rewards are a lot better. 
So Conquest is the show spin on a classic turn-based strategy that pits you against the 30 MLB teams on a map of North America. Conquer each MLB territory to complete missions containing spe team-specific rewards. You play different kinds of missions in Diamond Dynasty, such as single-player missions, daily missions, and exchange missions. Complete these missions for rewards. Usually last year, they gave you three missions a day, and then you could re-roll one if you didn't like it. And they also give you chances to unlock uh, special cards that you can only get in those daily missions. So sec check the program section as you tackle challenges across Diamond Dynasty. You'll earn re exclusive rewards as you build your dynasty. This is very, very important if you don't want to put money into the game. Finish missions and do the programs and knock out conquest. So when I get back to stream this it's going to be a long stream i'm going to be streaming conquest and hopefully they didn't change that much uh from last year hopefully be able to knock it out in about four or five hours is what i plan on doing so uh stay tuned for that guys so let's talk about road to the show and road to the show uh mlba show 18's most popular mode you play as a custom created player and compete for baseball greatness like millions of players before you'll be drafted by an MLB team before you're working, before working your way through the minor leagues at one bat at a time. So how to play. First, you create your player. Choose a room MLB player as a starting point or create your own from the ground up. Next, customize your player's attributes such as appearance, primary position, animations, and batting stance, which is a brand new option in MLB The Show 18. You will then decide what type of player you want to be. What is your focus archetype? Are you a power corner, a defensive cannon, or Mr. Reliable? Well, this is cool. They, they added that this year. Finally, you'll need to impress the scouts to earn a spot at the draft. Show off your abilities at the Bowman Scout Day and Topps Player Showcase, and then be recruited by a team and start your career. Pave your path. During your career, you'll need to make a lot of key decisions. Decisions about your growth and progression in both your performance and career. These decisions can open your potential in the long term or grant you immediate gain. So last year, uh, if you were a starting pitcher, they sometimes asked you to be a reliever. If you were a second baseman, they asked you to play second base or third base. The, uh, whatever the team needed and how you reacted to that affected your play time. So take that into consideration. So be you. Use the new batting stance crit to make a unique batting stance. There are also new hairstyles and facial hair options available along with customizable equipment. And uh, they kind of showed that off in the uh, streams uh, from SDS. So it's going to be very, very interesting. What kind of, uh, you know, here's a little challenge for you guys. If you guys select a different type, uh, you know, can you, you guys, why don't you guys go ahead and vote and see what kind of beard you guys want me to get in real life to match my... Uh, um, road to the show character. Also, uh, let's see what else. Franchise mode. So franchise mode, you put your MLB knowledge to test, take control of your favorite baseball teams and guide them to victory. You'll personally manage all aspects of your team from drafting and training players to hiring new staff and managing your team's budget. In MLB The Show 18, both your managerial decisions and your team's performance will affect your weekly, clash, uh, weekly cash flow, so dictate with caution. Don't want to start a new team from scratch? Import one of your previous teams from MLB The Show 17 to continue their progress from where you left off. So these phases, so new to franchise mode, phases breaks down and contextualize each important event throughout the year at, that a general manager's job is focused on. Each phase continues a unique set of tasks and challenges to help you make informed decisions which impact the future of the club. Franchise franchise launch pad. These features give players a variety of ways to play franchise games based on playstyle and time commitment. Smart Sim. Smart Sim prompts the user when late inning critical game situations occur so you have a direct effect on the stands even without playing full games. You'll also be prompted to complete statistically significant games such as hitting for the cycle or no hitters. So it's really, really cool. This, they had this last year. So you set up Smart Sim. And the, the game will go and keep playing until you get to a certain situation where a player can knock in somebody from a scoring position and you go in and it'll pop you into the game and do that. So retro mode. You can now play retro mode with your franchise team, which is cool, which is really cool. Player lot, player lot lets you pick a player on your team and play short road to the, sh uh, road to the show style game. So let's say uh, you're on the Nationals and you want to be Trey Turner. And you just want to play with Trey Turner. 
It'll only uh, play situations where Trey Turner will make a play at shortstop or allow you to go and be batting. You know, when whenever Trey Turner bats, you can bat with him. Quickly manage. Use quick manage to simplify your responsibilities. You can man, you can make all the managerial decisions during simulated games, such as setting up rotations and batting orders, as well as quickly inputting into in-game uh, team action. You can easily jump between quick manage and standard gameplay to give you a flexible franchise experience. Franchise responsibilities. Franchise responsibilities are divided into three sections, coaching, player development, and general manager. When creating a franchise, you can easily distribute tasks between yourself and your staff using auto. Tasks can be re reassigned at any time. Mastering franchise mode. When starting a new franchise, you'll choose one or more teams and set your options. As a manager, there are many factors under your supervision, balancing the team budget, player morale, signing and trading players, and achieving GM goals are just some of the tasks you'll need to match. Play games, survey your team status, and train your players to achieve vict to achieve victory. Sorry about that. Um, so one of the things they give you too is the sponsor cards they used last year. I think they're gonna do. They should be doing it this year again. You get sponsor cards. So if you do like, you get base hits and you or you get a certain amount of stolen bases in a game or whatever. Your sponsors will give you uh, some extra uh cash so you can use for your team um i didn't play much franchise mode last year but i do plan on doing and uh, and starting a uh probably a daily uh well, not a daily stream but one stream a week uh, where i'll be uh managing my franchise so let me know what you guys think about that more ways to play so online play requires a playstation plus membership which is sold separately play now for your daily rosters uh, so you don't need you don't need to play online. So if you don't have a PlayStation Plus membership, you can play the franchise mode all you want. Plus, it's not even online anymore this year. Play now daily rosters. Wait, want the most up to date baseball? Play an exhibition game using the most active rosters available for MLB.com. Situational practice, practice your batting skills and train your pitching abilities. Now they got it where you could put a guy on first base and try to get him over to second base. Uh, or you can set off different situations with the scores and whatnot. They, they changed uh, practice mode a lot this year. Uh, options Explorer, looking to improve your skills? Check out Options Explorer to learn about gameplay options. I will be doing a video on, on the best options that I think there are that work for me. Uh, so I'll be throwing a video up there for that. Uh, play now online radio. So play online matches and see how you rank against other players around the world. And you could do that with regular teams. You don't even have to do that in Dynasty, Diamond Dynasty. Postseason. Build a postseason bracket to compete for the World Series. Home Run Derby. In this online mode, you'll be pitted up against up to eight players to hit as many home runs as you can. Whoever hits the most home runs will advance to the next season. Max Brand. This is what we're going to be doing, so I'm inviting my boy, Max Brand, because he's been asking about that in the streams. We'll be putting that up and doing some home run derbies with, uh, with viewers. Challenge of the week. So this was really cool. Actually, I recommend that you do challenge of the week to practice your batting skills. Face off against the CPU with rapidly increased difficulty to try and outscore players from across the country. Challenge of the week has a new scoring system with more prizes up for grabs than ever before. All right, so that's it right there. Yeah, I hope this helps you guys out. You know, a lot of you guys don't ever look at the manuals or whatever. You know, hey, it's it's there for you to look at if you've already uh, signed in. Let me know what you guys think. And I uh, hope this helps. Uh, I really enjoyed making this video for you guys. And I look forward. I can't wait to for the game to drop and start making some more videos. All right, so you guys take care. This is The Duck. I'm out.